back to the yes jess youtube channel i was gonna say the yes jess podcast because i'm so used to saying that with my podcast go and listen to my podcast welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very well if you're new here hi my name is jess also if you have been a regular watcher of my videos thank you my hair is different isn't it cute um i'll be posting a hair vlog soon this bit of my hair is great but like these bits of my hair are kind of um slightly questionable so we need to work on those bits before I reveal everything. Anyway, I thought that I would do a law school Q&A. Um, one, partly so that you can get to know me a little bit more. I want to put on a necklace. So I wanted to do a law school Q&A. One, because I wanted you guys to like get to know me a little bit more. Um, also, the fact that I do law is like a big deal to me. One, because it's like super hard. And so I'm just kind of impressed with myself that I can do it. So I do want to show it off as much as I can. Let me give a disclaimer now that I am not good at law. Actually, I'm not bad. Surprisingly, I'm really, really not bad. Um, but would I say that I am Annalise Keating? No, but I also do get a lot of questions about what law school is like. So this is kind of also for my friends who are watching who want to know all those answers to law school, but maybe don't want to hear me ramble for 30 minutes. Speaking of that, if you don't want to hear me ramble throughout all of this, you can go to the description box down below and there will be timestamps written there and you will be able to find a question that piques your interest a little more. But you know, if you want to watch the whole thing, go crazy, go wild. If you're a friend of mine and you're watching, you'll know that a couple weeks ago, I made everyone, or not everyone, but I made some people send in questions that they might have about law school. So, hi friends, welcome. Well, thank you for your participation. I've had a couple questions like, in general on TikTok, which is kind of my main platform, um, just here and there, because mostly my, K my TikTok is K-pop content. But every now and again, I will get a question that is like law school related because I do mention that I do law school um, on my TikTok. So I just compiled everything that I got sent on Instagram and random questions that I've been asked on TikTok. So let's answer all of them. Um, before we get into the questions though, make sure you like and subscribe. And second thing is I do think that I need to like explain my course a little bit and just let you know that I have had a very different experience compared to other law students just because of coronavirus. Um, I'm not gonna say what school I go to just for privacy reasons and I hope that you guys are gonna be okay with that. I also don't wanna specifically mention my school just because I don't want everything that I'm saying to be representative of everybody's experience at my school. Um, this is just my personal experience at law school and some of my just like general thoughts, opinions, answers to some questions that I have been asked before. So yeah, I had law school in person from September to November last year and then November London went into lockdown. So once London went into lockdown, um, everything's been online, all of my exams were online, uh, all of my seminars, all of my lectures were all online. I will also mention that I'm doing a graduate law program. I've just finished my first year, so I did do another degree before that. I did English and French, so I thought I should just mention that because I feel like that will come up a couple times throughout this little Q&A session. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go, go to, to the beach. beach. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Okay. first question I got is, what's it like? I think the one adjective I can definitely use to describe law, actually the two adjectives I can definitely use are that it is interesting and difficult. Um, it's interesting for sure. I'm never ever bored. Um, okay, sometimes I'm never ever bored. The thing with law is that it is a study essentially of how human society works, of how people operate of you know motives reasons why people do things 
it is a really really interesting case study of life so i think that that is why i feel like i'm never bored the times that i am bored are just purely to do with me it's me it's not them um they're just purely to do with the fact that i'm not interested in some of those topics or some of those like case studies like what like when we talk about like you know the law of the sea like fishing and stuff like that i'm just a bit like i don't know if i care you know um but other than that other than fishing law i would definitely say that it is interesting you know i think that there's something for everybody in law and i think that that is what makes the degree so interesting why did i choose to study law i decided well hmm. when i was doing my first degree so my first degree was english a lot of my modules a lot of the topics i was doing i was talking about racism so i was talking about um political societal issues that was my main area of focus that was what my dissertation was on was afro asian solidarity um politically and i think i just got to a point where i was like i don't want to be able to just talk about it i want to be able to you know really know it and to know why it is that way and i guess also i think i just wanted to do something i just i didn't want to keep talking about it i just wanted to be able to do something or to feel like i had enough knowledge to do something um that being said now that i'm saying all of this my main area of focus now i'd say is probably corporate law or media law but i am still incredibly incredibly interested in those aspects of the law so um my main you know my kind of focus and goal has slightly shifted but i plan to like use that interest and to use that knowledge even in corporate slash media law so that's kind of why i chose to study it i think i also wanted to just know more about the way that the world works having that knowledge gives me a lot more security gives me a lot more comfort moving through the world because the world is a very scary place i like knowing my rights i like knowing how the world operates i like understanding things about how society works and about how people work because i don't understand that a lot of the time <laughs> the next question i got what law school tv programs do you recommend for being like law school so for like i guess being the, the most accurate to law school i would say that the ones that reflect how accurately or how hard it is are probably there's a korean one called law school which i really really like uh, my mom and I binged that one and we found that really interesting. You gotta you gotta be aware that like most of these law programs, like a professor gets killed or like somebody gets killed. Law school for me has not been as exciting as that. But yeah, law school, the Korean version is definitely very, very interesting. Legally Blonde is fun, but again, I haven't had an in-person experience to like really compare it to. Um, How to Get Away with Murder, in my eyes, IMO is not accurate. I feel like they don't show enough how much you study i mean to be fair and how to get away with murder they're like all trying to figure out you know how to get away with murder that's the thing i think with a lot of law shows is that they don't show you that much footage of them studying which is understandable because it's not always like super fun to watch that but i think that's why i'm like it's not that realistic because you don't see them studying all the time when in reality if you're studying law you're not studying all the time but you're definitely studying a lot like i'm studying way more than i did for my first degree and i would arguably say that i studied a fair amount for my first degree any tips on how to prepare for law school second question was any advice you would give to someone going to law school so i'll kind of answer those two together i would just say be prepared i okay before i started law school i deliberately got my eyes checked i deliberately got a new pair of glasses because i knew that my eye degree had gone down anyway I knew that I had commutes into uni and I knew that I was going to be twice as exhausted with all the law work that I was doing. So I just made sure that I was prepared for that. I made sure that I was able to manage my time well. So you, I think you just have to kind of figure out what times of the day you're going to do work and you have to, oh, create a schedule. I created a schedule. Like creating a schedule is something that I do regardless of my law degree like even in the summer i have a schedule because it makes me feel like a little bit more stable but yeah i would definitely recommend having a schedule not necessarily so that you definitely definitely stick to it but so that you at least have kind of a rough guide of where you want to be of what you're supposed to kind of keep track of so i basically made sure that throughout the week you know if i take criminal law for example i was aiming towards about nine hours of study of criminal law in a week I didn't always hit that target, but it meant that, you know, I had nine hours for criminal law, I had nine hours for tort law, I had nine hours for 
contract law. It just meant that I was able to balance out um, all of the studying that I had to do between each module. Time management is unbelievably important, but also be physically prepared for the amount of reading that you have to do. If I compare it to my old degree, with English, for example, if I was reading critical papers, it would take me maybe two hours to read like a critical English paper. But with law, it takes me like, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing to say, it takes me eight hours to read 30 pages, depending on the topic, again, depending on the module, like some, you know, some of it is a little bit easier to read, some of it's a little bit easier to digest. Um, but yeah, in general, I think for constitutional law, that was my average was about 30 pages in eight hours. I did get a little bit faster, don't worry. Um, but yeah, it does take me a long, long time to read. And eventually you do get into the habit of just reading and of just like getting down to it. I remember there was this one day that I was super, super upset about just like other things that were going on in my life. And I was like, I don't have time to cry today. I have to do my constitutional law. I remember just sitting there typing my notes and like crying at the same time because I was like, I don't have time to do both individually. <laughs> um, now that I'm saying it out loud, I feel like it sounds like so horrible, but like if anything, I guess it just goes to show that like you can get through stuff. Like it is possible to get through law school even with other additional things going on. I think there's like this misconception that um, you're studying all the time. And I, I know I've just said that I spend about eight hours, you know, studying, but at the same time, that is like, if I haven't scheduled anything that day, even when I was in law school, even when I was going there in person, I was still able to go out for dinner with my friends after law school. I was still able to like go out for a drink. Um, I still had time on the weekends to like go out and like do stuff. It is just about time management and just fitting in the reading where you can. Um, and just being, again, as I said before, like physically prepared to do that reading and to be able to kind of like hyper focus quite quickly. So I've mentioned physically prepared, but I do also want to like point out, do be, my voice cracked. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited about that. <laughs> do be mentally prepared for law school. The thing that I think nobody had told me before law school was that sometimes when you read certain things that happen to people, especially if you're someone who you know, is sensitive or who it gets triggered by certain topics. It's hard to read that that stuff happens to people. And it's hard to, it's hard to digest that on top of the fact that you have to read so many cases like that, you know, and within a specific time frame, it is a hard thing to like have to have to read all the time. I'm like stumbling over my words. It's not my favorite part of law school um and like for that reason sorry if my criminal law teacher is watching um i hate criminal law i when i was younger i really really wanted to be a criminal lawyer but then i grew up and i realized that i cry every time i argue with someone but also i can't read things ha like that happening to people every single day when i was first getting into law school i'm fine with it now i think but when i was first getting into law school i'd read like five cases and then i'd like take a break to cry for 20 minutes but i do think that that is partially just me like that's a that's a me problem not my problem that is just my personal like experience with that i know a lot of my friends in my criminal law class like personally found it fine like they got very used to it i don't really know which one's worse to be honest um but yeah they got used to it and they were kind of less affected by it so you know, apples and pears, apples and apples, uh, apples and oranges. Isn't there one with pears? I don't know. How many hours a day do you study? Uh, again, depends on the module, depends on the course, but I'd probably say if I haven't planned any like extracurricular activities to do, I could spend easily anywhere between eight to 12 hours reading. Um, I do, even on days where like I'm at home all day and I'm just reading, I do like to plan in like workouts and like I like to plan in like TV time. So it is possible to like manage all of those things. When I started law school, I was doing TikTok. I had a podcast. I was working out regularly. I was still seeing friends and I was still able to manage that and like be on top of most, I would say about 90% of my course. So it is possible. Um, even if you're like someone as like chaotic as I am. One of my friends said, Babe, I bet your coffee intake is insane. Do you even sleep anymore? No. Moving on. Do you regret it? Oh, do I regret going to law school? Absolutely not. Like, the thing is I complain about it and I talk about how I don't sleep. I stress about it. I cry over it. 
but at the end of the day do i regret it like absolutely not like i would 100 percent recommend it to anybody who is interested in the law even in the slightest even if you don't want to practice law at the end of the day it is an insanely insanely interesting degree it is a degree that you really really do get an education out of i guess the amount of knowledge that i've gained in just one year of law school is incomparable um that is partially because you know it is an intense degree they do push you but regardless of that like i've learned so much in law school i've learned so much about you know the law for one i've learned a lot about myself i've learned a lot about other people so yeah for those reasons i'd say i definitely i don't regret it at all i if anything i'd recommend it but if you do like see me in real life and you ask me how I'm doing I will complain about my law degree so just like bear that in mind but I think that like that is the vast majority of law school students is like we will complain about the vast amount of reading that we have to do but then we'll just do it anyway are you having a nice time I am having a nice time thank you I am struggling and I'm crying and I am learning things and I'm like elevating Elevate my mindset nice. but yes I am having a nice time thank you what do you want to do after law school I don't know let's move on um on a scale of one to ten how stressed do you get if we're not doing exams if we're not doing any of that it's just normal law school um I'd say my stress level is maybe like a five out of ten like not super high but like it is it's there um if I'm doing exams or essays high like nine out of ten maybe even 9.7 out of 10. Um, it is high, it does get very stressful. I will say though that I'm someone who keeps on top of things quite regularly. Actually, that's a lie. Uh, in general, I keep on top of things. If you keep on top of things, your stress levels are low. The thing is, I feel like I definitely have been stressed, but I feel like it's one of those things like, you know when pregnant women give birth, there's that hormone that gets released that makes them forget how painful it is, which is why they're like, let me have another baby. I feel like that's, it's like that with law school. It's like, there's probably, it's so painful that there's a chemical that gets released that makes me forget about the pain. But yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, how stressed you get? I say on average, if I'm like taking into account the whole year, maybe I'd average about a 6 or a 7 out of 10. So not super stressed as long as you keep on top of things um next question <laughs> sorry this is from my old housemate who said are you planning to specialize in bird law oh my god my other housemate said have you learned any bird law <laughs> and by the way these are things from it's always sunny in philadelphia which my old housemates and i used to love watching together um if you guys are watching hi Fight no. okay i do just want to say that like in general i love studying law do i know what i want to do with my law degree after no um, but I think that that is okay and actually the vast majority of law students don't want to practice after they study law or don't know what they want to do after they study law. I think a lot of them are very interested in the subject for the subject's sake, which I think is actually a really good attitude to have to just genuinely be interested in learning. I think that that is something that's really, really nice about this degree. And I think at first I thought that I wouldn't love it. Um, and I think I was like dreading it or not dreading it, but I think I didn't think that I'd be as interested in it as I am, but it's it's such an interesting degree. Um, I'd really, really recommend it. So I hope that this Q&A kind of gives you like a general idea of what law school is like. Again, take it with a pinch of salt um, because I have had the coronavirus special. I am supposed to be going back to law school in person. So hopefully like you'll get more law content. You'll also probably see me have a lot more breakdowns. Um, that's fun. So yeah, I also have a podcast episode coming out about law school, about my thoughts on my first year of law school. If you have any suggestions, any comments, any like criticisms at all, like please do let me know. I am a big girl. I can deal with criticisms to an extent. It depends on the kind of day I'm having, but I can normally deal with them okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thankfully that hasn't happened yet, but who knows? Who knows what will happen in the future? That's the beauty of the future. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I hope that you are doing okay. If you're not doing okay, that's also okay. Um, I have days where I'm not doing okay. Um, if you want proof of that, you can check out my July vlog. God, I'm so good at self-promo, aren't I? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm shiny as hell. Law school makes me sweaty. Okay, bye guys.